going on, Royal Family? We are on our way to a car meet right now. I got the boys with me behind me. And we got a long ride ahead of me right now. And we're taking it pretty light today because my boy has a backpack with him. So we're just gonna be cruising. So I thought, what better way to use this time while I'm cruising than to talk to y'all about a special topic that I've been wanting to talk to you for a little while. And that is why I stopped drinking alcohol. Now don't get me wrong, I was never a huge alcoholic. I was never someone who was super, super into drinking like that. I was in college when I started drinking. When you're in college, you're surrounded by everyone around you who really wants to party. If you guys know, if you guys are in high school or college right now, you, you feel that pressure that you want to do what everyone else around you is doing. And so that's what I did. I started drinking and it wasn't getting to a problem, but I started drinking multiple times during the week all over the weekends would be dedicated to drinking alcohol. And we had a lot of bars and a lot of places to go downtown right next to our school. So it was very normalized around me. Not to say that it's okay for these things to be normalized, but they're just sort of, oh, if you're not drinking or if you're not doing this, like people look at you kind of weirdly. And so I started drinking and it was about for four years in a row, all throughout, all throughout my college life, I was drinking almost every single weekend. That doesn't mean I wasn't getting my work done, I wasn't doing my homework, wasn't doing my projects. It wasn't to a point that it was a problem ever for me. It wasn't something that was hindering me from doing any of the normal stuff that I have to do in my life. I was still trying to take care of my health and I was still trying to go to the gym. And that's when it started getting to me a little bit because I've been going to a gym for a long time now. I've been wanting to make the gains properly. And when I would just spend my Thursday, Friday, Saturday night drinking, I started realizing that all my Sundays and the rest of my weekend would go towards just sleeping and recovering. Even though I wasn't drinking so crazy where I, I would be completely messed up the next day afterwards and I wouldn't get the biggest hangovers, but I would feel this sort of sort of feeling down like where you don't have the energy to be able to do the things that you need to do for the rest of the day and when you're running off of about six hours of sleep at that time I was working a part-time job as well too so I'd work on the weekends and I'd party during the weeknights or I mean the weekend nights and it stopped working out for me I started realizing that I started plateauing in the gym I started not getting the gains that I wanted to because I was lost drinking and when you're at a certain age it's very normalized around you to be drinking and that's almost the worst part about it is that it's so normalized and even in today's day and culture even in the corporate life drinking on the weekends is very normalized and I never understood that really like doing everything else seems like it's the worst thing in the world but oh let me go out and drink with my co-workers and oh yeah th this is how we should spend our weekend and if you're not spending your weekend like this, oh, you're wasting your time. There's a lot of traffic right now. Good thing we're on bikes. And like I was saying, I got in this momentum of drinking and I wouldn't be making the proper gains at the gym that I've been wanting to make. And it started getting to my head a little bit. I started realizing that this is something that in order for me to actually live a healthy lifestyle, this is something that I need to stop doing. That was point number one trying to live a healthy lifestyle. Secondly, I realized that there are other ways to be happy without drinking. You don't have to be in a different state of mind for you to quote unquote loosen up, like how people say. If you're truly happy with your life, you could be happy and hang out in a social setting while you're sober. And so that's what I strive to do. It was actually funny, so at the end of, I think this was at the end of 2021, coming into 2022, that's when I fully quit drinking. And how I started doing it is, I started telling everyone else around me and even started telling myself that I had a coach. I would tell myself and I would tell everyone around me that, hey guys, I got a powerlifting event coming up at the end of this year and I, I hired a coach, so I'm not able to do this because it's not very much peer pressure, but when you're that person who is usually the life of the party and you become the person who's not drinking at all, 
people look at you kind of differently. And the same amount of people, they, they start, you know, almost peer pressure you into drinking some alcohol. And so I would turn down, they would be like, oh, it's just, it's just one shot. And I would turn everything down and they started accepting it. Everyone around me started accepting it and I started accepting it when I started telling everyone that I had a coach. Little did they know, the coach was myself. And one time, one of my friends asked me like, hey, let me come to your powerlifting event at the end of the year. Like, where's it gonna be, this and that? And I was like, guys, it's not like that. It's me versus me. And I had a crack out of it. But that really helped me lean off of it. You have to trick your mindset to get into that mindset of, oh yeah, this is what I need to do because we all have this voice in the back of our head telling us what's right and what's wrong. After I started leading off drinking, I started seeing so many different things in life. I started realizing what truly makes me happy and what makes me sober happy. That's why in a lot of my earlier videos, i would be talking about sober happiness and I kind of want to talk about happiness a little bit more in another Royal Rant video later on. But quitting drinking itself completely wasn't the easiest thing to do. Especially in today's day and age where you're so surrounded by it and it's so normalized. Like, oh yeah, just, just one drink, just, just one beer. And even one drink or one beer shouldn't be that normalized how it is now. So I gave it up completely. And I can truly say after giving it up completely that my life has changed for the better. I started making content, I started doing other things and one of the main things which was hindering me from doing all this was the overthinking aspect of it. I would always overthink like, oh man, I don't know if I can put this out, I'm gonna be judged by the people around me. I stopped doing all that. And it's so easy to get caught up in overthinking, especially when you're under the influence of other things because you realize that's where you're looking forward to during the whole week. You get in this cycle of hating Mondays, hating Tuesdays, and as Wednesday comes along, you're just looking forward to that drink at the end of the week and, and letting loose, as you can say, on a Friday. And that's not what life should be about. It should be a little more. It should be a little bit more about actually loving what you're doing, enjoying the time with others, and making good memories. I realized a lot of my birthdays in those years, I completely blacked out and I don't even remember anything from it. What's the point of getting so messed up that you don't even remember anything from it? And you're over here throwing up and sick afterwards the whole day. I just don't see a point in it anymore. Stopping drinking really helped me put everything that I wanted to into action. I started actually putting content out there, being the best version of myself. And I always had this little, we all always have this little voice in our head, which knows what's right and wrong. You know at the end of the day, what's the right decision and what's the wrong decision. And a lot of the times when we're making a wrong decision, we have that little voice in our head telling us what to do. Like, oh, I don't need to do this, but you go through with it anyways. That was a lot of the times for alcohol with me. I would say, oh yeah, I don't need to drink right now. And then I would start drinking and then I would become the life of the party. And that was that. Even going on vacations. I realized so many vacations that I went to, so many places that I went to, all got spent when I was drunk. And I didn't even actually get to enjoy the place and make correct memories of the place. Because I was literally drunk the whole entire time. So now I can confidently say that not having any sort of urge to drink alcohol has quite literally changed my life. Changed my life for the better. Not just the health benefits though, but my mentality is a lot more stable now. I'm able to actually do the things that I say I want to do and not have to overthink about it. And this video is not to bash on anyone who drinks alcohol. I get it. And now the only time I would ever drink alcohol is if I want to celebrate something. And if I made a huge achievement and oh, I have a little bottle of champagne. That's about it. If it's not my celebration and it's not something that I really feel like I achieved something, there's no point. Ooh, that was a fat piece on the road. Hopefully none of them hit that. 
unless I'm celebrating a huge achievement, I'm not even gonna pop a bottle of champagne. There's no point of being intoxicated when you can be on that sober mindset. Once you really, really harness that sober alpha mindset, oh yeah, it doesn't matter anymore. You start to become him. My goal with everything that I do is to share the life experiences that I've been through and to help you guys out in your own life experiences. And the only reason why I talk about the things I do and why I'm so motivational and inspirational is because I've been through a lot myself. And now I'm able to actually put it into words and not be afraid to speak on my thoughts. Especially, especially if you're putting your life and other people's life at danger when you're doing this. If you're drinking and driving or drinking and riding a motorcycle, you really need to sit down and think about it a little bit of what you're doing and learn how to give it up. Find different ways to make yourself happy. Find different things to look forward to at the end of the week and strive towards that. Now I've figured out there's a lot of different things that I look forward to, such as riding with my homies, making new friends, being part of the bike community has very much changed my life around and being able to make these type of videos for you guys has really changed my life around. So I thank each and every one of you who's still listening right now. This video isn't to bash on anybody who drinks alcohol. You do what you want at the end of the day. I'm just here to share my experiences and teach you how to be the main character of your own story. I want to make sure that you guys are healthy and you guys are mentally stable and live in your best life that you possibly could. That's why one of the things that I strive for is working on my health and working out. When you're working out, you're forced to eat good, give up things such as alcohol, and you really start to understand how to be 1% better each day. And actually listen to that voice in the head which is telling you to not do this. Or put yourself in a competitive mindset. Really actually go into a competition where you have to focus and you have to work on your health in order to win it. And once you give it up and you realize you can do so many other things in life, you will understand. You will understand how to give it up. If any of you have ever met me in person, you know I'm a very humble person. I like talking about your guys' experience and not just showing off what I have. Yeah, I have a cool looking bike, but it's all about you guys at the end of the day. I love being able to help you guys. I love being able to support you guys and I'm here for you. If y'all enjoy these videos where I'm just ranting about my life and sharing my experiences, I like to call them the Royal Rants. Comment down below and let me know what else you guys want me to talk about. I know a lot of people are fighting mental illness, fighting a lot of other things in their life which is stopping them from doing what they want and I've been through it. So comment down below, let me know what else you guys want me to talk about and I'll make sure to address it. But as always guys, make sure to love your own life first, be the main character of your own story, chase those dreams, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!